Right, Al, thank you very much. There are growing concerns over the environment this morning. A new report shows carbon dioxide has reached levels not seen in millions of years. Ann Thompson is NBC's chief environmental affairs correspondent. Ann, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. You know, it's just one number. One day's measurement of the CO2 levels in our atmosphere. It's a number that fluctuates throughout the year, but the amount of CO2 has surpassed a threshold that scientists say signals we are running out of time to reverse the impact of global warming. From the serene setting high atop Hawaii's Mauna Loa volcano, a danger sign. A monitoring station recording the highest daily levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in human history, 400 parts per million. The rate of change is accelerating, and uh, that's something that I think all of us need to be concerned about. The amount of carbon dioxide has risen dramatically since the Industrial Revolution, from 280 parts per million to the recent 400 parts per million milestone. Man-made carbon dioxide is produced when we burn fossil fuels, such as coal for electricity or oil and gas to get around. CO2 traps heat in the atmosphere. Too much CO2 and it warms the earth, changing the climate causing ice caps and ice sheets to melt, sea levels to rise, making heat waves more intense and storms stronger. But how much is too much? Many scientists say we are rapidly approaching the 450 parts per million that could push climate change beyond the point of no return. But some disagree, saying those fears are wildly overblown. I think probably uh, in my lifetime we'll uh, surpass 500 uh, parts per million CO2, but it, it simply should be now recognized it has no bearing on the temperature of the Earth. A growing number of scientists say it is not a risk worth taking. Do we really want to, to, to play you know, chicken with uh, the environment when, in fact, we don't need to? Now, adding to the problem, carbon dioxide stays in the atmosphere for decades, which means that reversing the trend will not be an easy task. And you Matt? said we haven't seen levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere like this for millions of years, so just give me a sense what, and I'm not suggesting you were covering it back then, but <laughs> give me. There are days <laughs> when I feel like I'm I, It started to come out, hey. I started, this isn't sounding right. <laughs> give me a sense what was happening with the planet the last time the levels got this high. It was actually three million years ago, which is about a million years before I was born. But it, it, the last time this happened, the sea levels were 60 to 80 feet feet higher than they are today. So just imagine, I mean, most of the earth was covered with water or much more. Three quarters of the earth is covered with water today. Most of it was. So imagine a, a completely different planet. And it was long before humans were walking right. the face of the earth. All right, Ann Thompson. Ann, thank you very much. You're Appreciate welcome. it. And let's go to Savannah. All right, Matt, thanks. Prince Harry seems to be enjoying his whirlwind tour of the U.S.